Hello and welcome guys. So in the last video, we have completed our data pre-processing. In this video, we will build our model architecture. So if you are new to this video, then please watch this playlist from the beginning. As our use case here is to build a neural network, which is able to identify the disease present in the image. So we are dealing with the image. So for that, you have the background knowledge of convolution neural network. If you're watching this playlist from beginning, then you will get convolution neural network tutorial. So please go there and watch my video. In that I have explained this entire thing in a very detailed manner. Let me give you a quick overview of uh, what is convolution neural network. We have some input image. So as we know that images are in pixel. So in convolution operation, we try to uh, extract the important feature of this image and make a feature here. So if we apply convolution operation, then we get bunch of this matrix here. If you see, we have one, two, three, four. So these four matrix are actually a feature map. Uh, first matrix is representing some feature of the image. And the second matrix is representing some different feature of the image. We are representing this image in this uh, bunch of feature map. OK, then further we are processing it by using this pooling process. In pooling process, we are again uh, try to extract the important feature of that image so that we can decrease the size of the image. If we are considering 128 cross 128 images, then that image has uh, 128 into 128 number of elements present in the matrix. By doing this, we are getting some feature. And here, if you see, we are getting four different matrix our data size increases. So then we are again applying some other process so that we can decrease and focus on some important feature of the image so that we are applying this pooling process. And then uh, whatever we are getting from here, we are flattening this entire thing and we are feeding to our neural network. This is what we are doing in convolution neural network. Here, if you see this diagram shows that we are extracting the important feature in a separate matrix so that we can take a feature map. If you see the resulting output is feature map or activation map. And for max pooling, we are considering this two cross two sliding window. And in this window, we are extracting the maximum value and we are putting it in a separate matrix. And for average, we are taking average of from this two cross two matrix. OK, and then once we get our max pooling result, this entire three cross three is flattened in this nine element and then we are feeding it to our neural network. So this is what we are doing here in convolution neural network. Same thing we are going to implement here by using TensorFlow. Let me give your markdown building model. This is our first batch of training set if you see here so this is what we are going to feed in our neural network first of all we have to import some libraries first we are going to use dense layer so from tensorflow just right here tensorflow.keras.layers import dense this dense layer we need and for convolution operation we need con 2d layer and also we need model so from tensorflow.keras.models import sequential okay that's it we need only these three things Let's run this and we have to create our model first so here we are going to use tensorflow sequential model we are going to add the entire thing that's why i am creating here sequential object here okay so we have created our model object now we are going to build our convolution layer comment here building first phase is convolution layer if you see here first we are doing this convolution operation then pooling then we are feeding to our neural network okay so we have to build our convolution layer use here model dot add and inside this we have to add our convolution layer which is this con 2d and inside this you have to pass some arguments so first argument is filter filters is equal to 32 i am giving what is this filter so if you go here this is a filter okay how many number of filters i want so here i want 32 filter so basically we are applying 32 different type of filter on this so for one filter we are getting this array so similarly when we apply 32 different type of filter then we will get 32 different types of matrix okay I will show you later when we are going to uh, visualize this entire thing. Then I will show you that we are getting here 32 different type of feature map actually. 
because when we are applying this is our feature map so for this filter this is one feature map so for all 32 filter we have different 32 feature map okay so this filters i am going giving here 32 it shows that i want 32 filters on my convolution layer okay and second parameter is kernel size so kernel size i am selecting as 3 3 means that i need this this entire uh, matrix value as 3 so it is 3 cross 3 if i give here 2 then this will become 2 cross 2 okay that's the meaning of kernel size and then i am giving here padding so padding i am putting as same and then activation function i have to give here so activation i am giving as relu this is my activation function and input shape my final argument because this is my first layer so i have to provide input shape here so input shape will be whatever we have defined the size of image here so here we have defined size of image as uh, this so we are feeding here 128 comma 128 and if you see the see my training set then you will get this this is my input shape so we have to give here three this is my width and height of the image and this rgb format of the array so this entire thing is my input shape and this 32 represent that this is 32 training example in one batch okay so that's why we have to feed here input shape value as this okay this is done i'm adding one more layer here because i am not done with this so i am again applying convolution operation with 32 different filter and doing the same thing but here now i will not apply this because we have already this argument we have to pass only to the first layer okay so this is done now after convolution operation i am going to apply my max pooling so i need one more layer okay so let's import here max pool we need this layer also there so i am importing here max pool 2d so this layer i want here and here model dot add this is what we are going to perform here this max pooling so to add this layer just write here max pool and inside this we have to pass first argument as pool size so pool size i am passing as 2 and strides second argument is stride which is also i am passing as 2 what is this pool size if you go inside this this pool size is basically this uh, entire sliding window size and stride is the moment of this sliding window here if you see it's moving two times from here 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 okay the moment of sliding window is your stride and the size of the sliding window is your pool size so we have defined here now copy this entire thing and paste again because we are going to define one more convolution layer here so i am defining one more convolution layer here and again i am going to add one more convolution layer here with 128 and let's add one more convolution layer here why we are adding this i have taken different combination but i am getting good result for this okay so add up to here right now at the time of training if our accuracy is not good then we will try to do something here okay right now we have this much of convolution layer and max pooling layer okay so we have successfully completed our convolution operation and max pooling operation if you go here convolution and max pooling is done now we have to flatten our output and feed to our neural network so we have to do flattening operation to do flattening operation we have to add here cnn dot add and we have to pass one more layer here which is flatten layer so let's import flatten here this thing we have to pass here okay okay here is our model so model dot add flatten is done now we have to add dense layer here dense layer is basically our hidden layer okay so here we have to add our dense layer so add your dense layer here so inside this i am giving units units means that how many number of neurons i want so i am putting right now as 1024 and activation function i need so activation function i am using as relu activation function and now we have to put our output layer this is our output layer so put here model dot add and inside this put as uh, i'm putting units is equal to so here we will put our output that it is a 38 class problem so we need 38 different output in which model will predict the probability of each class okay so i will write here 38 38 neuron at the output side i am using here activation function as 
soft max so that this neuron will give me a probability of each class in each neuron okay for each class it will give some value and if we do the sum of all the probability then we will get one okay so from that our aim is to select that class which is having maximum probability and then we will say that model is saying that this is the disease so something like that we are going to do our prediction okay that's why i'm using here softmax activation function because i need result in probability form now i will compile my model let's add here markdown compiling model so i will use here model dot compile right now i will use optimizer as adam and loss equal to here we are dealing with multi-class problem so our loss will be categorical cross entropy this will be our loss and we are going to evaluate this on matrix of accuracy so i will write here matrix is equal to accuracy to see our model we will use here model or summary so that we can see all the parameters of the model now let's run this complete thing so first of all i am importing all the required libraries which is needed to build the architecture of the model and then i am going to call my sequential model and in this sequential model i will add my first convolution layer and max pooling layer and then my second convolution layer and max pooling then third convolution max pooling fourth convolution max pooling then i'm flattening this entire process then i'm adding my hidden layer and then i'm adding my output layer and then i'm compiling my model here and then i'm visualizing the entire parameter of the model so if you see this entire architecture so we are feeding this 128 cross 128 image here so after this first convolution operation if you see here we are getting here 128 cross 128 this uh, 32 is added here it shows that whatever is the size of your input 32 different corresponding array is created here okay if you see this example then you will understand this whatever is the size here here we get same for each filter uh, we are creating a separate feature map okay so here we have 32 filter if you see here here we have 32 different filter so 32 different type of feature map will be generated okay so here whatever is the size of this on that 32 uh, different feature map is created okay so this is actually the entire size of the output what we are getting after this first convolution operation okay and this is again we are applying with different filters so that we get some different output and then we are doing this max pooling process so when we are doing this max pooling process then we see that our output is reduced here if you see and then when we are applying my second convolution operation this 64 cross 64 this is the entire size after this max pooling operation but now here we are using 64 different filters so whatever we have the size of this on that we are again applying 64 different type of filter so that's why this value becomes 64 okay and then when we are applying again max pooling operation this value reduced and then when we are applying this uh, convolution operation for this 128 then we are getting here 128 different filter and for this also we are getting the same thing and when we are applying this max pooling operation this value is reduced okay and when we are applying again convolution operation on 256 filter this time then we are getting again here some value okay this entire thing what we got from here this entire thing is become 256 because we are applying again 256 filters why we are doing this thing because we want to create different feature from that image if you see this is our feature map this feature map represents some property of this image so similarly by creating this bunch of feature map we are trying to see that image with all end okay so that our model can understand the property and characteristic of that image that's why we are creating here feature map now in the next video we are going to train this model then you will see the accuracy of the model that we will face one common problem here that is uh, our loss function will overshoot sometime it will increase then decrease then it will increase further so it will try to increase and increase and increase or uh, optimizer will not be able to 
minimize the loss okay so this is the, the problem of overshooting which we will see here and in the next video we will understand how we can avoid the problem of overshooting and there is also a lot of other problem like model overfitting model underfitting so these problems also we will understand that how we can avoid this type of problem and as i explain in this video that this filter basically creating different type of feature from that image okay and that feature map is basically the property and characteristic of that image in the next video when we are going to train this entire thing then we will use this concept to avoid the problem of overshooting of the loss function okay so that's all for this video i hope you understand this video we will meet in next video and in next video we will do the training of the model okay thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video